He's Thanos. He's Cable. He's Thanos. He's Cable. He's Thanos and Cable. Josh Brolin has been cast in Deadpool 2, and we've got some follow-up questions next on Screen Junkies News. Deadpool is known for breaking the fourth wall, and boy, will he have a lot to tell the audience with this bit of casting. Earlier today, The Hollywood Reporter threw down an exclusive like an infinity gauntlet. Josh Brolin, currently cast as Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, will also be playing Cable for Fox's Deadpool 2. Ah! As anyone following this casting saga knows, the role of Cable has bounced around to a couple of names before landing on the double-dipping Brolin. Well, here with me to discuss this bit of surprise casting are Jay Washington and a Joe Star. Well, hello. hello. Hi, hello. Kitty Boo Boos. So there have been many, many names thrown around. <sighs> Kyle Chandler is somewhere crying in his oatmeal without enough water in it. I mean, what what do we think? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a throw actually something before we started shooting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think that this is like, how many phone calls between Marvel and Fox had to happen before this was come to an agreement? So they, we're not giving you the property. We'll give you Brolin. <laughs> That's all it it's is. It's a weird Brolin trade. <laughs> yeah. it's like, I don't know. I don't know if, um, I mean, you'd think that like a Disney contract would be pretty ironclad in terms of uh, what other franchises and stuff you can jump into. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Brolin might have a hell of a manager. and It's Brolin, a though. He's a legendary actor. So, you know, Brolin should be able to say, I want to do this. Yeah. Let me do it. Well, and also, when he's Thanos, there's so much CGI. There's so much makeup. There's so much stuff. It doesn't look as much like, yeah, like maybe, you know, you and I are going to know, like, man, it's Josh Brolin again. But other people might not see him on screen as Cable and go, oh, man. Why is Josh Brolin doing everything? It's Brolin. Again. I mean, we not, I mean, no one said anything. We stopped for a while after we were like, well, you know, Ryan Reynolds was both the Green Lantern, God rest that movie soul, and then Deadpool. And he was Deadpool twice, don't forget. Deadpool twice. He I was, was very confused. He was the that. horrible Wade Wilson with, that looked like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. And then you even, what was the other one? You had a couple of people who were two different characters. And so this isn't too much of a shock to have happen, mm -hmm. but to have somebody that's actively... Oh, yeah. He's the main bad guy for Infinity War, and now he's the uh, big focus in Deadpool 2. So it's like, this is going to be weird to see what happens. Those two I can deal with, but the fact that he's also Jonah Hex, I just, that's something oh, I can't. Sure oh, he's sure now. Yeah, I can't wrap my head around that. He can't wrap my head around that. He can't wrap my head around that. Well, it seems like Hollywood feels like he's right for every superhero property. What do you think, Joe? Is this a good casting choice? I think it is. Uh, when I when I, when I I first heard it, I, I, I leapt from my bed and... Uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't the most exciting thing when I first heard it, but the, the more I've been sitting on it in the past 15 minutes since it broke. <laughs> um, you know, I like it. He, he's a good actor. Uh, he, he played a great straight man as young Tommy Lee Jones in Men in Black 3. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He sort of balanced the line between straight man and comedy in W as the president. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, in Sicario, he's just a total badass. And so I think that those are sort of the criteria that he needs to really be able to play off Ryan Reynolds is just to sort of, uh, just sort of a, a, a sort of a, I'm too old for this. Like just staring at Ryan Reynolds while he skips around and talks about oh, pooping man. his pants. I think he's going to be fantastic. I love him, but there has been some talk online about the fact that he's only five ten, and that's uh, like IMDb five ten, which means he's probably closer to five eight. Ugh. Prosthetic lifts and boots. Shouts out to every pro wrestler out there that says he's six seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and look, like guys, it is not 1995 Wizard Magazine dream no. casting anymore. <laughs> You know, oh, when when Triple H was the only person who could play someone with muscles, look, he has to be Thor. You know, Hugh Jackman is way too tall to be Wolverine, Wolverine. and Jim. and he's Wolverine. You know, he's Ian everyone's McClellan Wolverine. Was super old when they first cast him as Magneto, and they were like, Nah, yeah. let's not do that. But then he turns out to be the greatest thing we've seen. Michael Fassbender's okay, but he does not beat Ian McKellen as a. Also, weirdly, I don't know if you guys know this, but before Ian McKellen was cast as Gandalf, did not have long stringy white hair. Oh my 
my God. Yeah, that's that's a way what? Never knew. That's Whoa. A Do you think, here, though, here. there are going to be some people who are like, man, get your grubby hands off of these franchises. Is it too much? Like, does it, should it, will it confuse audiences? No. Should no, he man, be get more paid. generous? Here's why. Here's why I want. Fox is already. Paid. Fox has already said they're going to do their own universe. Yeah. You've got Legion, you've got the X-Men movies, you've got Gifted, they're Deadpool, they're establishing their own universe. X-Force is coming out. Mm -hmm. They're like, look, we're going to do this. Marvel is Marvel. I'm not going to go through the list of all those films on Marvel because you know what's coming up. There's no need to confuse. There's no confusion. When you know that, hey, Fox is doing its own thing. We've established for the longest with the X-Men films that there's nothing that's going to happen that crosses these two franchises over. Yeah. You've even got Fantastic Four for some God-known un uh, God reason. Well, they're going to reboot that, and Josh Brolin will probably yeah. be in that. Too. I mean, he can be Doctor Doom. He yeah, can do that. For sure. I mean, the, the, the Fox universe doesn't even connect with itself, Self. so there's so, no way you're going to mistake it for the look, MCU. Logan was set in 2029. The next movie is set in 27. The next X-Men movie is set in the 90s. Yeah. So continuity as far as that universe goes doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't well, matter. but there is character continuity. Chances that Deadpool will make some joke about Cable and Thanos. 150%. Oh, that's, I guarantee you that was the uh, when the room of Fox executives was like, what about Josh Brolin? Someone was like, wouldn't it be funny? And that's <laughs> that was probably the deal sealer. Add in script. Yeah. He says you're not purple. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he says you're not purple or you need something on your hand. It's going to be some reference to Thanos without saying Thanos. Or an infinity yeah. stone. Yeah, an infinity. Don't you need a couple of stones to be infinite and then just look at the camera? Yeah. Exactly. Something like that. So, yeah, of course. But that's what Deadpool does. He breaks the fourth wall. He acknowledged the whole two Professor X's and two Magnetos. Yeah. When Colossus was dragging him, take you to see Professor. Yeah. He was like, which one? McAvoy or Stewart? You know? So he does that. So, of course, this is an open thing for him to do that. Well, personally, I'm super excited about this casting news. Gentlemen, excited? I'm, I'm happy for it. Yeah. I mean, good. He's, he knows how to do the universe, so let's do it. I think it's going to be great, but we want to know what do you think of Josh Brolin playing Cable? Let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJNews. Make sure to like, subscribe. Of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. See you soon.